Hey there, it's me, Kathy. I came up with a fun thing to do with my leftover Fiesta rice that we had with our carnitas. I'm gonna do something with those too. Gotta use them up and let's do it. Because this is made with regular rice, it's not as formable as um, risotto, which is what you use to make arancini, which is what we're gonna do today. So we need to bind this rice up. And the first thing we're gonna do, and I have is defrosting my freezer, I found these really old hamburger buns in there. We're gonna make us some breadcrumbs. Here's our crumbs. We're gonna use some to bind our rice and we're gonna use the rest of them to bread our arancinis. I'm gonna use all the binders I can think of. First, we're putting in a beaten egg. Mozzarella, this is cheddar because I think it's going to taste better with this southwestern mess. About a cup. And some of our breadcrumbs. About a half a cup. And we're going to stir that together and mix it well. I did put my hands in here and squish this all together, and this is going to work. These have turned into pasty and formable. And now what we're gonna do is make our arancini rice balls. And we're gonna refrigerate them for a while, let them set up. And then we're gonna bread them and fry them. And they're gonna be good. We're gonna scoop our mixture nice and evenly. And that is holding together well. I've never done this before. And now I have. It looks like they're going to stay together real well. And I'm just going to work on some kind of a sauce to serve them. And they're portioned. Now we're going to pick them up and make them nice and round. Make sure they hold together like that. And like I said, we're going to refrigerate these for a bit. So we'll be back. I decided on a dipping sauce for our arancini. We need some sour cream. And I have some salsa that's pretty juicy. I don't want the solids in it, so I'm gonna just use the juice, I think. Some of those solids are going in, but that's not gonna be so bad. Whoops. Let's see how this plays out. I need some more juice. Let's see how this top works. It's working good. I think that's gonna be nice. See how we taste. Oh, that's nice. Gonna be good. Our arancinis are firmed up. They're gonna stay together nicely, except for the corn. The corn likes to fall out. And we have our breading station set up. Let's rearrange this so you can watch. I don't know if you can see in the background, I'm heating up the fry daddy. So, first thing we do is flour. Shake off any of the excess. Egg. Coat that flour. These got a little too cold, so that egg doesn't want to stick, but we'll make sure that it does. And let that drip off, and now into our crumbs. Coat them up well. Here we have 
Arancini number one. And we're gonna finish up with the rest of them. Our oil is ready. And we're gonna drop in one or two of these arancinis. I'm thinking two. Gotta keep them separate. These fresh breadcrumbs are gonna mess up the soil, but that's okay, we have more, we'll change it up. And we're gonna let that go till they rise to the top. Try to keep them from sticking together. And they'll be done real soon. They are browned and crispy, and I think we're gonna call this a Southwest Italian fusion experiment. Our Southwest corn arancinis are done, crispy, round up and now we're gonna serve them up with that sauce that we made here they are on a little appetizer plate i'm gonna just give them a little drizzle of the sauce boom not exactly a drizzle but that'll be tasting good and now let's see what they look like on the inside oh by the way here's what they look like sauced up on the outside they're pretty rolly Let's get them back. Here's the inside, cheesy and creamy and melty. And I should have waited to cut them in half before I sauced them, but it's still gonna be good. That was a fun thing to do with my Fiesta rice. Southwest Italian fusion, Fiesta corn arancinis. And let's go in. Those came out real good. And I want to thank you for joining me while I played with my leftovers, and there's more to come.